always remember the greatest in anyone's life. You'll start off a day just two people in love and end it as husband and wife. It's a brand new beginning, the start of a journey, with moments to cherish and treasure. And although there'll be time when you both disagree, these will surely be our way by pleasure. You'll have heard many words of advice in the past when the secrets of marriage were spoken, but you know that the answers lie hidden inside where the bond of true love lies and broken. So live happy forever as lovers and friends. It's the dawn of a new life for you. As you stand there together with love in your eyes, from the moment you whisper, I do. And with luck, all your hopes and your dreams can be real. May success find its way to your heart. Tomorrow can bring you the greatest of joys. Today is the day of all stars. Thank you. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediments. Of any unlawful impediments. Why I, James John Batts. Why I, James John Batts. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matter. In matrimony. To Natalie Louise Jones. To Natalie Louise Jones. I do solemnly declare. I do solemnly declare. That I know not. That I know not. Of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I, Natalie Louise Jones. Why I, Natalie Louise Jones. May not be joined. May not be joined. In matrimony. In matrimony. In matrimony. To James John. Bass. To James John. Bass. Entering to must to be done so voluntarily. Therefore, I ask you to do this question. Do you, James, by your own choice, freely enter into union of marriage with Natalie? I do. Do you, Natalie, by your own choice, freely enter into union of marriage with Natalie? I do. Well, we now come to the second legal declaration. You make to one another by which you accept each other as husband and wife. So, if you'd like to turn and face each other, can you say these next words to each other? I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, James John Batts, do take the Natalie Louise Jones to be my lawful wedded wife. I promise to care for you all. I promise to care for you always. To keep our love and friendship. And to keep our love and friendship. As it is today. Please share my hopes and dreams. Please share my hopes and dreams. And never allow anything. And never allow anything. To change the feelings. To change the feelings. That we have for each other. That we have for each other. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Natalie Louise Jones, that I, Natalie Louise Jones take James <laughs> to take the James John back to, to be my lawful wedded husband. I pledge to share my life with you. I pledge to share my life with you. I love, honour and trust you. I love, honour and trust you. And look to our future together. And look for our future together. With hope, happiness and joy. With hope, happiness and joy. Well done. Maybe once in a lifetime you find someone who touches not only your heart but also your soul, who loves you for who you are and not who you could be. The happiest of people don't necessarily have the best of everything, they just make the most of everything that comes their way. You should be with someone who makes you smile, because it, it takes only a smile to make a dark day seem bright. Find the one who makes your heart smile. You should hope for enough happiness to make you sweet. Enough trials to make you strong, enough sorrow to keep you human, and enough hope to make you happy. Love is not about finding the perfect person, it's about learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. Maybe, once in a lifetime, if you're lucky, you find that someone, as you will find each other. Thank you. Well, we now come to the part of your ceremony, where you exchange wedding rings, which is the traditional and ancient way of sealing the marriage contract. A wedding ring is an unbroken circle, symbolising, unending and everlasting love. This will be the outward sign of the lifelong promises you have just made to each other. Michael, you've got the rings there, please. And James, if you take that to this ring, place them on the third finger of the left hand. Just move your hand 
your fingers back to your photographer. That's it, lovely. Okay. And if you could repeat after me. All that I have, I give to you. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share. All that I have, I am, I share with you. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. With all my love. With all my love. Ask you to wear it. And ask you to wear it. Today and always. Today and always. And if you'd repeat after me, Natalie. All that I have, I give to you. All that I have, I give to you. All that I am, I share. All that I am, I share with you. I give you this ring with all my love. And ask you to wear it today and always. Well done, you see, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> James, you have both made the legal declarations required by law in the presence of your family and friends here today. We hope you look back upon this day with much love and happiness. It's a great pleasure. I declare you husband and wife. Oh, you're my husband now. You're my husband. I remember about I remember I remember you telling me about the camping trip you went on a while back, which was cut short because Natalie heard the noise in the middle of the night and you packed up straight away. As soon as it got light, Natalie wanted to go back. Watching Riley and Emily grow up reminds me of how how close we were when we were younger. I'm sure they will have such an amazing relationship. You both do such an amazing job raising them both, and I love spending time with you all as a family. I count myself lucky having having such an amazing niece and nephew and can't thank you enough. I couldn't have asked for anyone better to marry Natalie and anyone. And a, and a brother-in-law, you both deserve each other. I hope you have many more memories to come over the years. I'd like to, everyone to, thank, I'd like to thank everyone for coming on this special day. It means a lot to James and Natalie. Can everyone please raise a glass to, new, to my sister and their new husband. I hope everyone has a great evening. Cheers. Um, firstly, uh, well, before I start, on behalf of my wife and I, I would like to welcome you to our special day and thank you all for coming. It means a lot to have all our family and friends here with us today. Now, where do I begin? Mum and Dad, I'm very com I'm a very confident. I'm very confident everyone in this room would like to thank you for producing an incredible son. <laughs> but honestly, thank you for always being there for me with unconditional love and support. You've allowed me to make my own decisions in life and I've been there to pick up the pieces when it's fallen apart. I appreciate everything you have done for me and my family and I love you both very much. Angie, Barb and Ben, thank you for making me welcome to the Mal family and for your love and support from the day I met Natalie. I hope I can live up to, to your expectations you have for husband. Ben, I truly am grateful for giving us away. Thank you. I'm, I'm all sure, I'm, I'm sure all of, some of you will agree that the maid of honours and bridesmaids all look amazing today. They have done an amazing job keeping that calm and having to put up with her. <laughs> the main one is they actually helped her to make it somewhere on time, unfortunately. <laughs> which I think deserves a toast alone. I'd also like to thank the best man for firstly agreeing to do it, but mainly being a great brother and not humiliating me on the stag. Well played brother, drinks on me. <laughs> also, thanks to the ushers, Ian and Richie, two very good mates of mine, and I'm glad you are both a part of the big day. Another huge thank you to family and friends who have helped me and supported me through some difficult times. You know who you are and I can't thank you enough. Now let's turn our attention to the gorgeous lady sat beside me. I'm sure you all agree, she looks beautiful today. I feel privileged, privileged you said yes all the years ago and I've managed to wait this long to finally tie the knot. After constant nagging me that is. But seriously today I am happy I got to marry my best friend from when we first met in Coronation Park 
And I was like, wow, who's that new girl in the Lacoste jockey? <laughs> <laughs> to where we are today in our family. To where we are today in our family home with two beautiful children, Riley James and Emily. We have, been a, we have been on plenty of holidays, had countless laughs together, and I've made lots of great memories together. I can't wait to make many more great memories with you. We've definitely come a long way together and had some challenging times, but I feel we have taught each other so much along the way, and there will always be challenging waiting for us. But I can honestly say with confidence, as long as we face them together, we can do anything. Let's just hope it doesn't go downhill from tomorrow. <laughs> Especially after tonight's antics and drinking. <laughs> Natalie, you mean everything to me. Thank you for giving me two beautiful children and for never giving up on us. I love you more. I love you, I love you with all my heart. Now can I ask you all to please stand and raise a glass to love of my life, Natalie. That's... <laughs> Now, I didn't really know where to start with writing a speech, so I trawled the internet for some inspirational guidance and wisdom. A few hours went by and I found some really, really good stuff. Then I remembered I needed to do a speech. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Mike or Michael. And for those who actually do know me, I apologise. <laughs> my, my actual name is Mike, would you like a drink? And those of you who I chat to later, remember, I'd appreciate my full name being announced. Um, I'm James's brother, and yes, I am the older one. It's been great standing up here today because after all these years, James has finally admitted I am the best man. <laughs> Um, on behalf of the whole wedding party, I'd like to thank James and Natalie for inviting us all to be a part of their wonderful day. I'll give a few honourable mentions. So Ben, a lovely heartwarming speech. You've done a cracking job with that one, even though you're absolutely... Yeah. Um, I'd like to thank my fellow groomsmen, Ian and Richie, for helping today to keep James in check before he was married. Um, to all of Natalie's bridesmaids and how well they have done to calm her nerves on her fourth biggest day of her life. The third was the birth of family, the second was Riley, and of course the first was James. <laughs> <laughs> A special mention to family and friends who've come all this way to celebrate this great day. How, who would have thought so many of you people would have come for a free meal? <laughs> um, our Auntie Lynn has travelled all the way from Scotland I'm surprised the First Minister gave you special permission <laughs> to come across the border. Um, our cousins who have travelled all the way from Cornwall, Yay! don't worry, us Northerners won't go after your wallets and cars. <laughs> um, now, I want to say how lovely the bride is today, Natalie. It's been a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Natalie, words can't do justice how beautiful you look today. James, you are very lucky to have a bride next to you. It was even lucky <laughs> uh, to have someone to care for and devoted as Natalie. Her loyalty for you is unquestionable and her faith in you is endless. It's clear to me that you have both found the perfect partner and I couldn't be more happy for both of you. Um, you guys have been through it all and having both a son and daughter, it looks like your family is now complete. Um, for, do the, sorry, for those who don't know much about mine and James' relationship, let me fill you in a bit. <laughs> I've been around for his entire life, and I have the privilege of watching him grow into the fine man you all know and see before you. So, here it comes. <laughs> I recall the first time I went to see him in hospital after he was born. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, this little small person had just come into this world with everything ahead of him and not a care in the world. Now, try and explain to a five-year-old, who's me, that your little brother, bear in mind, has the power bestowed upon him and how little did I know that he went on to literally get away with murder. <laughs> yeah. As you could expect, we became of an age, the contempt I had for James would slowly turn into maddening battle. 
But, as with all relationships, there's a special bond between brothers. You know, the usual, I shot him in the eye with a BB gun. He pulled a knife on me after I shouted at him. So that's the two unusual. Growing up, James was always a mummy and daddy's little baby. In fact, so much, your actual true love was your beloved dummy. <laughs> One particular holiday, we'd all been there for a few days. James contempt for not needing his dummy. He had not mentioned the word dummy all day around the pool and the beach. Once bedtime approached, the fateful words, where's James's dummy? From my mum and dad. James's ears pricked up and the words came yeah, came out of his mouth. Dummy, question mark. Um, next, the frantic search all over, no results. This movie known as Dummy Gate. <laughs> a restless night was ahead. No rest for all, and what I recalled, he stayed under the bed, no, sorry, under his bed, sobbing. This dummy obsession led him to nearly taking it to primary school. If it wasn't for our parents, he probably still had this bloody thing. And unfortunately, at his age, he still spits his dummy out, even if he doesn't get his own way. <laughs> As we got older, uh, there were some joint ventures. Like going on holiday, we tried to drown my sister and broke her surfboard. Let's just say we had a few good holidays where we are forever grateful to our parents, even though we drove them up the wall. Speaking of driving parents up the wall, James had pestered for a family pet since he was little. And when our parents caved in, that's when Harvey arrived. Yeah. Um, let's just say what I think James had in mind was a loyal pet, but it turned out Harvey in later years had replaced James and now Harvey was the favourite. <laughs> if anyone knows James, he's a massive football fan. He's won loads of awards every year when he was at his local football team. He was loved by the coach. This might be due to his charming personality. I am surprised, considering he's a miserable bugger most of the time. So, I've rambled on long enough, and with that note, can I ask you all to be upstanding for a toast to the happy couple? You don't need to sit down. Oh. Yes. <laughs> to, to the new Mr. and Mrs. James and Natalie Bats. Mr. Cheers. and Mrs. Bats. Cheers. Cheers. Just want to start off by saying hi everyone and thank you all for coming and celebrating a special day for James and Natalie through these very hard times. Can't believe it's been 16 years together, lots of ups and downs and overall it's been worth it. I love you both so much and you are such a perfect couple together. As the saying goes, don't know if anyone knows Greek mythology, humans were originally created with four arms, four legs, a head with two faces and fearing their powers, you split them into two and separated them. And that is called soulmates. And I believe... Oh. You two were soulmates. Oh. And you found each other. Thank you very much. You have given me a beautiful nephew and a beautiful niece who I absolutely adore. Both two different characters in their very own beautiful ways. As we all know, very hard, <laughs> as mine are too. Um, and Natalie, you have a heart of gold, but such a gullible person. As a lot of you who know Natalie, she definitely is. We've had a lot of memories together. I absolutely adore you. You're perfect for my brother. It's oh. quite scary. But there's one person I'd like to talk about today. You can't be here, I'm so sorry. He means a lot to Natalie, Bob and Ange. He was a beautiful man and he meant the world to her. He was amazing and I'd really appreciate it if you'd all stand and raise a glass to Tony, who can't be here today. No. And as I said, he was a beautiful man and we all miss him so much. Cheers, Tony. And we've all got your daughter. It's a granddad, Tony. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Oh. Oh, God, go. Don't worry, I'll keep this very much like me, short and disappointing. 
<laughs> While I may be James's cousin, I'm blessed enough to say that I can call both him and Natalie two of my best friends. With James, I had the privilege of growing up beside him back when he had a blonde mop of a bowl cut. Um, <laughs> it's why I'll always call him James, not Jay, as many of them do. Because I'll forever look at him and be reminded of the mischievous yet incredibly kind boy I grew up with, despite the fact he's grown into a wonderful, loving man. As for Natalie, well, I can only say I'm surprised we didn't cross the path sooner. In a way, maybe that's a good thing, if only because when we are together, we have this inability to be sensible and tend to laugh at everything. Natalie, for all you are an indecisive people pleaser, you've got a fantastic sense of humour. The latter being something you've long learned you need to stay sane with this, in this family. <laughs> you need it. Um, <laughs> To say I'm flattered to be one of your maid of honours is an understatement. I love you both immensely. And I think the fact I'm wearing a pink dress <laughs> and not my usual shorts and Timberlands is a testament of that fact, don't you? Yes. yes. Still, and you look beautiful. You thank do. you. I look okay. <laughs> We're a minus one out of ten, but whatever, right? Um, still, as I look at you both, I can only say you're incredibly lucky. You two found one, in, uh, one another and became a couple that complements each other in the most inspiring way. Fairy tale romances apparently do exist. It just so happened that James's princess wore trackies and a gold necklace that wore her name. <laughs> While Natalie's first impression of her Prince Charming was, Chav on a BMX. <laughs> so today, you beautiful people, uh, enjoy every single moment, forget the world a little while, and focus on yourselves. You two spend so much time worrying about everyone else in your life, ensuring they're happy, being there for them. And today, it's all about you two. Well, at least until you get around to your honeymoon, which I can only assume is going to be in Thailand, because when I asked the bride, she said, she said she's going to go Bangkok for a week. <laughs> I'm lowering the tone. But yeah, but in all seriousness, in all seriousness, remember this. The people gathered in this room today are to celebrate your wedding day. We are looking at you both through a lens of love and profound joy as you two take the step together. Even those who are no longer with us, namely Nat's granddad, Tony, he would be unequivocally proud of you both to see you as Mr. and Mrs. So, uh, since we've done this like several times, <laughs> let's raise our glasses to this happy couple. May your fridge always be filled with Stella, and may your ups and downs only be between the bed sheets. <laughs>